So let's start with the bell. There we go. So we know we've begun. And find a comfortable seated position. Legged, preferably. Sit up on a cushion if you need to. If you find it's too uncomfortable, you know, your back can't manage that, that's okay. Okay. So let's just uh, let the arms rest in the lap. Take a deep breath in through the nostrils and sigh out through the mouth. <sighs> let's just let a bit go. And let's just increase that a little bit by joining the shoulders in with that. So lift the shoulders up really high, right up by the ears, hold the breath in. And out through the mouth. <sighs> yeah, let it go nice and loose. Breathing in. Squeeze the shoulders, squeeze out the tension and let go through the mouth. <sighs> Let's do one more of those. Squeeze, 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 hold the breath in and out through the mouth. <sighs> Good. And then into the fingers and we'll stretch the arms up, pushing the hands up to the ceiling and lifting, lifting the chest as well, but keeping the shoulders down. So we're not getting the shoulders up by the ears still. The extension is through the arms. Feel that in the sides of the body. You feel that in the abdominals to keep the abdominals and the lower back connected. Back of the neck is long. It's not looking up. Back of the neck is long. So we slightly tuck the chin in. So the back of the neck can get long. And breathe. Breathing in. Feel the body with air. Breathing out. Pushing the hands up. One more breath in. And breathing out, slowly lower the arms down, pushing the heels of the palms out to the sides, giving the arms a little bit of a stretch there. Now we're going to interlink the fingers in front of the body and breathe in. And breathing out, take the hands away from us, drop the head down, extend the arms. So we're really letting the back of the neck go here, but pulling the back, the middle of the back, the center between the shoulder blades, we're expanding this area. Breathing into this area as you breathe in, through the nostrils, nice and deep. And as you breathe out, hands are going forwards, middle of the back is going away from the hands. Breathe deeply, enjoy that opening. Each out breath, you'll feel a little bit more space. Amazing how much space the body will give you. One more breath in. And release slowly. Good. on that out breath. Let's do the same thing with the other direction. So interlink the fingers behind the back. Again, keep the neck nice and long. So just feel that that's an extension of your spine. So, to, so you're looking down at the ground in front of you. So breathing in again to the chest and breathing out, taking the hands back behind you and opening the chest wide. Shoulders are going back, breathing in to that chest, breathing out, keeping the breath in and out through the nostrils if you can, breathing in nice and deeply, feel the front of the body really opening up, the chest expanding, the ribs expanding and as you breathe out, take those hands back behind you, lovely long line, one more breath in and release the hands, release the breath out through the nostrils, good. Take the left hand onto the left side, so we're going to stretch up through the sides. Breathing in, extend that right arm up, watch that hand, and then as it comes over the body, breathing out, bending into that left elbow. Fingers are going forwards. And try and get the elbow, or get the arm rather, uh, out the way of the face. If you can look up at the ceiling, that's great. Just gives you a much better position to expand. Yeah, and let the arm really just trying to hang over that side but also a bit of reaching is still happening maybe bending a little bit more into the elbow but keeping the sitting bones down breathing deeply all the time now we'll just drop the elbow the arm forward come out of it softly and come back to seated okay see how that feels have a little wriggle put the right hand down on the right side bend the elbow so everything's supple and awake and alive breathing in stretch up to the left side look up at that hand and then breathing out, reaching over the body, bending into that right elbow, pressing the hand into the ground, the whole hand and the fingers. Extend over. Try and make sure the back is out of the line of vision. 
as you look up to the ceiling. Good, breathe deeply. Keep the sitting bones down, strong in the belly, strong in the back. Feel that exp extension, it's expansion in the left side of the body. And breathing out, reaching over the body a little bit deeper. Then dropping that left arm forwards and coming back up to seated. <sighs> Have another little wriggle around. Just feels good to just open up that body. Right hand on the left knee, we're going to come into a twist. Left hand behind you, close to the body, don't forget. Breathing in, lift the chest. Bright, alive, lively chest. And as you breathe out, first of all, the lower part of the body is coming around. Then the chest, then the shoulder. Keep the shoulders down until finally you have to turn your head around. But keep it on top of the body. Avoid projecting the head forwards. Keep the back of the neck nice and long. Turning to look right behind you. Holding onto that left knee nice and firmly. Every inhale, lengthen, lengthen. Lift the top of the head. The crown of the head is going up to the ceiling. And as you breathe out, your eyes and your nose, and everything is going around to the left. Twisting a little deeper, moving into the space of that out-breath, particularly the end of the out-breath, where there's a little bit of give there. Inhale, untwist slowly, slowly, slowly untwist to the front. Again, see how that feels in your body. Left hand on the right knee, right hand behind you. Breathing in, lift the chest, shoulders down. Nice and bright and breathing out, twisting around to the right from the bottom up. So the belly, the ribs, the chest, the shoulder, then the head follows or the neck follows, holding onto that right knee firmly, breathing in, lift the chest, lengthen the spine, feel it long and breathing out, twisting that spine, twisting, looking around behind you on the out breath. Every inhale, lengthen, lengthen. Every exhale, keeping that breath in and out through the nostrils, looking right behind you. Inhale one more time. Untwist slowly to the front, move around. Yeah, good. Let's just uh, open up the chest a little bit more. Brighten ourselves up by pummeling the chest with the fingers, the fingers there, all over that chest area. Ah, brightening. How does that feel? It always feels like it lifts my mood, this. Opens up those channels and even into the sternum there and onto the sides here. That feels good. While we're here, let's just give our lower back a little bit of a pummel. Might be feeling a little bit delicate at the end of a week. Maybe even sit. Always, you know, we all, all do a lot of sitting. This is a great remedy for easing out that and then getting those knuckles and rubbing up and down that lower back. Ah, feels good to do that. Amazing how good that can feel. Okay, so let's just uh, extend the legs out to the sides now, nice and wide. If you need to sit on a cushion for this, that's fine, because that, that position can sometimes be a bit tricky, so you might want to sit up on a cushion, or you might want to just lift yourself up with your finger just to get a better position there. You don't have to have them as wide as me, just go comfortably wide. We're going to uh, stir up the porridge pot, so lift the chest, breathing in. As you breathe out, you're going to lean forwards. Nice straight back. As you breathe in, you're going to lean over to the right and back and around to the left as you breathe out to the front. So notice my head is on top of my body. It's not projecting forwards. My shoulders are down. My elbows are bending as I'm going with that. They're nice and loose. As my back is really staying upright. It's almost like all the time my heart wants to lift, lift, lift. Leaning back as far as I can, breathing out. Breathing in as you lean back, breathing out. So stirring it all up, getting a good bit of heat and energy in the lower back. Good, let's come back to centre. We're going to do the, the humming breath, the Brahmari breath without the, the hands on the other direction. So we breathe in and on the out breath we make the humming sound. Take another breath in, Let's do a few more. Back 
to center. Always oh, feels good to do that. It's a great practice to do actually, um, you know, uh, every now and again, if you remember to do it, it's very simple. So uh, Brahmari is very good. Remember with the fingers on the ears, thumbs in the ears rather. <laughs> gonna keep the legs out because we're going to do a lion just to clear everything out and to get a little bit of, yeah, to burn everything up a little bit at the end of a week. So either hands here, like the claws in front of us or out to the sides, okay? So we know, we know this one hopefully well enough. So breathe in and then the tongue comes out, eyes are really wide, <sighs> okay? I'll do both variations again, breathing in. Good, tongue really out, eyes really wide. It's rasping sound in the front, throat. Wow, feels so good. Let's try that again, breathing in. <sighs> I scare myself. Let's do one more for luck, why not? So I'm gonna go hands out this time. Breathing in. <sighs> good, okay. Let's bring the, the feet together. Let's come onto all fours. Okay. Gonna come into a lovely back ripple, I like to call this nice cat to cow movement. So just check your hands, spread the fingers out wide, see how they feel. Also soften the elbows so that your shoulders can push back. Notice when you lock them, the shoulders just naturally thrust forwards. We don't want to lock them. Space between the knees. So breathing in, you lift your gaze, lift the chest, take the shoulders back as if your heart wants to push forwards. As you breathe out, it starts from the base of the spine, tucks underneath, ripples up through the spine, breathing out still, chin comes to chest. Starts again from the base of the spine, lifting slowly on the inhale. So you move in time with your breath, inhaling, rippling up through the spine. Breathing in, look forward, shoulders back, hearts going upwards and forwards, breathing out. Always starts from the base of the spine, curling under, arching up through the spine, chin to chest. Breathing in, lifting the tail, rippling up through the spine till the chest comes forward, shoulders go back, and then again, rippling back under. Breath is coming in and out through the nostrils, breathing in. Just feeling the breath in the spine. Close your eyes if you feel okay to do that. Or we'll just try it, see how it feels. If Notice what happens as soon as we close our eyes, much more feeling, sensation kind of focus. So you want to feel the body rather than thinking about how the body is looking, or whether we're doing it right. So feeling, we can feel the spine, we can feel the breath, we can contact and connect those two things. Keeping those elbows nice and soft. Really feel that beautiful snake-like spine. Feel the power in that spine lovely fluidity in the spine let's do one more of these and then sit back into the heels into the pose of the swan extend the arms forward bring the forehead to the ground in this position have the knees as wide as it needs to be don't forget you can always put a cushion and behind your knees if your bottom doesn't quite reach your um, heels otherwise really stretch your arms forwards and take your breath into your back body into the back ribs feel the ribs expand in your back body so all those intercostal muscles in between the ribs get a little massage they get expanded breathing in feels good keep that breath going in and out through the nostrils so you're filling yourself up and squeezing it out. And then just take a breath in through the nostrils and release by breathing out through the mouth. <sighs> nice sigh there, good. We're gonna move and breathe from this uh, swan to a, a, a kind of a cobra. So as you breathe in, leaving the hands where they are, fingers spread wide, come up onto all fours. As you breathe out, hips come forward, shoulders go back, open the chest, breathing in, lifting up the hips, coming to all fours, breathing out, sit back into the heels. 
bring the forehead to the ground. So breathing in. So matching the movement to the breath. The breath is dictating the speed of the moment, movement. But we're keeping both the movement and the breath smooth, even and steady. This is the key part. How fast doesn't really matter. We're trying to do it fairly slowly. So you can feel everything and give the body full attention. When we slow everything down, you know, everything we can see and feel so much more than we've been come accustomed to, to being much faster I have for sure so it's a treat to really how slow can I do this everything in life can probably be improved by slowing down I imagine okay, let's do one more of these breathing in to lift you up breathing out take that out breath right to its very end opening the chest shoulders back and down Breathing in, breathing out. Good. Take another breath here, breathing in through the nostrils. Sigh out through the mouth. Then we'll just take the hands forwards, come onto the front of the body briefly. Just rest on the side of the head. Take a moment there. Again, feeling the body, feeling the ground, feel the breath pressing against the ground. As the front of the body expands with the breath and presses against the ground. Good feeling of the ground and breath. Good. Okay. Let's try this some um, what I call the jellyfish. We extend the arms forwards. It's a nice one. Not too, hopefully not too challenging for the back. You can do it to your own level anyway, whatever feels good. So you don't have to bring the forehead to the ground because sometimes the nose can get in the way a little bit there but whatever feels okay for you we can just have the head there off the ground but lifting opposite so lifting the right hand left leg and breathing out lower down breathing in lift the left uh, arm right leg and breathing out breathing in and breathing out keep the breath in and out through the nostrils a little bit of abdominal work happening here as well the extension so extending the toe and the finger away and also this bilateral movement is really good for the body and the brain let's do one more each side And then find a way to roll onto or come onto the back. Okay. Yeah. So let's start off by giving ourselves another full stretch, but on the back of the body. Good. Point the toes. Breathing in, breathing out, push the heels away. Point the toes on the inhale. Push the heels away on the exhale. Keeping the breath in and out through the nostrils. So the ankles get a bit of a stretch and also this, you can feel that's going to impact on your calves a lot as well. But also the rest of the leg and even into the back there. So this is a nice, easy way to give yourself a bit of a stretch. Incorporating the breath as well. Easing out things. Now let's just bring the knees up and hug the knees. Have a little rock and roll on the lower back. That's going to feel good, I hope. Rocking side to side. Then place the hands around the front of the knees. Go up and ask now. As you breathe in, take the knees away. And as you breathe out, pull the knees into the body. Lift the face up towards the knees. Breathing in. Make space for the air, flatten the back to the ground, extend the arms. Breathing out, squeezing the knees into the body, bring the nose right up to the knees. Feel the tail lifting off the ground. Same thing, just moving in time with your breath, smoothly and evenly. Try and slow it down as much as you can, breathing out. Slow is the name of the game. Breathing in. 
And breathing out, squeeze yourself into a really small little ball. Squeeze all the breath out. Let's do a couple with these by letting go. If you want to, if this feels too much, don't worry, just keep going with what we're doing. Otherwise, bring the arms above the head and take the knees as far away as you feel okay for yourself. The indicator is that you can keep that back really glued to the ground using those abdominals. And then coming back, squeezing the knees in. Breathing in. And breathing out. Moving in time with your breath. Breathing in, extend, expand. Breathing out, squeeze all the breath out. Breathing in and out through the nostrils. Really squeeze all the breath out. So the next breath can be really deep and long. Notice how when we really extend the out breath, it instantly invites a deeper in breath. And also when we extend the out breath, it instantly takes us into a much more relaxed state. It's a really important thing to learn or know or you know practice is the out breath particularly in stressful times when it's very difficult to get an in breath let's just squeeze those knees in hand on top of each knee we'll make some circles with those knees it gives spring a bit of ease into the hips maybe into the lower back as well breathing in take the knees away breathing out knees fall away and come back to the body breathing in breathing out so it's just really the fingertips guiding those knees. We don't have to keep hold of them rigidly. We can let gradually let the weight of the legs be felt as they fall out to the side. So you really trust the hips can hold that. And imagine the breath is in the hip joint. Imagine it's you're breathing into that hip joint. How good that feels, breathing out. And we'll change direction because it always feels good to do that. Knees together. Breathing in and breathing out. Just draw the knees into the body, squeezing the breath out, and then take the knees away. Breathing in as you take the knees away. So still two separate circles. Try to make sure the feet fall away from each other as well. So we're really getting some openness there. So enjoyable this. Just really brings some ease, fluidity into that hip joint, which is a very busy, very large joint in the body. So it does need some attention. Okay. Breathing in. And breathing out. Let's hug the knees to your body again. Place the soles of the feet on the ground. And we'll just um, take the feet a bit wide and come into some line twists. One of my favourite things. Extend the arms out to the side. This is a lovely, lovely, easeful thing to do. Ease us into our nidra. So breathing in. As you breathe out, let the knees fall to the right and the head goes over to the left. Breathe out fully. Really let the body relax into that position. Wait for the next in-breath to come. And when it comes, you can use it to lift your head, lift your knees. So everything, the legs are really relaxing. As you breathe out, the knees go to the left, the head goes right over to the right. Really extend that out breath so your body, your twist gets a chance to release. Breathing in. Move as slowly as you can. Whatever, whatever way your knees are going, your head is going in the opposite direction. So we're getting a lovely twist through the whole spine. It's a very easy twist. That's why I like it so much. It's a great one to do. If you're thinking about, you know, what you're going to do every day, if you want to practice every day, this is a really top of the list. So if you find you'll do, maybe, maybe you make a commitment to lie on the mat every day, this may well just come into your mind and you may as well do it because it feels so good. Oh, you don't need to do it very long. Okay, one more. Let's bring so much ease into the back and into the mind. It just feels like a really self-care, top self-care little practice. And just hug the knees again. We're going to come into the yoga nidra now. So just place the soles of the feet on the ground, slide the legs away. 
Just give yourself one more final little stretch there. Filling the body with air. And then bring the hands either side of the body, arms away from the body, palms facing the ceiling. Feet away from each other, let the feet fall away from each other. And also just making sure the back of the neck is nice and long. So you're not looking up at the space above you. When your eyes are open, you're looking directly up. So you need to keep the chin tucked in. You might need a small cushion or a folded blanket there under your head. And probably you won't need to cover yourself, but if you feel like you want to, that's okay too. And if you want to put your hands on your body, that's also okay. So we'll just get ourselves in the position that we want to be in. Just find that position. Take your time. Take your time. Feel at ease. Okay. So getting ready for the yoga nidra. Take a deep breath in through your nostrils and sigh out through the mouth. Yeah, let it all go. Give yourself this time. Do any adjustments to your position. You might want to put a cushion underneath your knees. You might want to just move some part of the body to make it more comfortable. Whatever it is you need to do, just take some time to do that. Any distractions, any last minute little shuffles or movements you need to do. And make sure you close your eyes and keep them closed. The practice of yoga nidra is the act of listening and the act of feeling. And these are the only important factors. In yoga nidra you function on the level of awareness plus the level of listening. So say to yourself mentally, I will not sleep, I shall only listen to the voice. Say to yourself, I will not sleep. Give yourself time to become calm and steady. Take a deep breath in. And as you breathe in, feel calmness spreading throughout the body. And as you're breathing out, say to yourself mentally, relax. Become aware of sounds in the distance. Become aware of the most distant sounds that you can hear. Let your sense of hearing operate like a radar beam, searching out distant sounds and following them for a few seconds. Move your attention from sound to sound without attempting to identify the source. Gradually bring your attention to closer sounds, to sounds outside this building you're in, and to sounds inside this building that you're in. Now develop your awareness of the room you're in. Without opening your eyes, visualize the walls, the ceiling, the floor, your body lying on the floor. See your body lying on the floor. Become aware of the existence of your physical body lying on the floor. Total awareness of your body lying in perfect stillness. Your body is lying on the floor. Develop your awareness of all the physical meeting points between your body and the floor.
become aware of the natural breath. Become aware of the deep, natural, spontaneous breath. So keep on listening to me and know that you are breathing. The practice of yoga nidra begins now. Say mentally to yourself, I'm going to practice yoga nidra. I will not sleep. And this is the time to make your resolve. Sankalpa. A simple resolve, positively framed something you want to create in your life. So get very clear about what the words of that phrase, that resolve are, and say it to yourself with feeling and awareness three times now. Now we go into the rotation of consciousness, going through the different centers of the body as quickly as possible, with the awareness jumping from point to point. The practice begins with the right side of the body and the right hand. Right hand, thumb, second finger, third finger, fourth finger, little finger, palm of the hand, back of the hand, wrist, lower arm, elbow, upper arm, shoulder, armpit, waist, hip, right thigh, knee, calf muscle, ankle, heel, sole of the foot, top of the foot, big toe, second toe, third toe, fourth toe, little toe. Left side of the body, the left hand, left hand thumb, second finger, third finger, fourth finger, little finger, palm of the hand, back of the hand, wrist, lower arm, elbow, upper arm, shoulder, armpit, waist, hip, left thigh, knee, calf muscle, ankle, heel, sole of the foot, top of the foot, big toe, second toe, third toe, fourth toe, little toe. Bring your attention to the back of the body. Right shoulder, left shoulder, right shoulder blade, left shoulder blade, right buttock, left buttock, the length of the spine, the whole of the back together. 
Bring your attention to the front of the body. Top of the head. Oh. Forehead, right eyebrow, left eyebrow, the eyebrow center. Right eyelid, left eyelid, right eye, left eye, right ear, left ear, right cheek, left cheek, the nose, tip of the nose, right nostril, left nostril, upper lip, lower lip, chin, jaw, throat, right collarbone, left collarbone, right side of the chest, left side of the chest, Center of the chest, navel, abdomen, lower abdomen, hole of the right leg, hole of the left leg, both legs together. Hold the right arm, hold the left arm, both arms together. Hold the back, hold of the front, hold of the head, together. Legs, arms, back, front, head, together, the whole of the body together, the whole of the body together, the whole of the body together. Develop awareness of the whole body and become aware of the space occupied by the body. Become aware of the body and this space that is occupied by your body. Body and space. Become aware of the whole body and the floor. The whole body in relation to the floor. And at the same time, become aware of the meeting points of the body and the floor. Feel the meeting points between the back of your head and the floor, shoulder blades and the floor, the elbows and the floor, the back of the hands and the floor, the buttocks and the floor, the calves and the floor, the heels and the floor. Awareness of all the meeting points between the body and the floor. The 
the sensation of all points simultaneously, evenly. Go on feeling these points clearly and distinctly. Now switch your attention to the eyelids. Feel the narrow line of meeting between the upper and lower eyelids. Feel the sharp points where they meet. Intensify your awareness between the eyelids. And then the lips. Centre your attention on the line between the lips, the space between the lips. From the lips we go to the breath. Draw your attention to the natural ingoing and outgoing breath. Feel the breath moving along the passage between the navel and the throat. On inhalation it rises from the navel to the throat. On exhalation it descends from the throat to the navel. Be completely aware of respiration. Navel to throat, throat to navel. Without any force with the breath, just awareness. Maintain your awareness of the breath. following the rise and fall of your breath from navel to throat and back again. The breathing is slow and relaxed. Now bring your awareness to the following sensations. Awaken the feeling of heaviness in the body, the feeling of heaviness. Become aware of the heaviness in every single part of the body. You're feeling so heavy that you're sinking into the floor. Weight of the body sinking into the floor. Awareness of heaviness, awareness of heaviness. Awaken the feeling of lightness. Awaken the feeling of lightness. A sensation of lightness and weightlessness in all parts of the body. Your body feels so light that it seems to be floating away from the floor. Awareness of lightness. Awaken the experience of cold. The experience of bitter cold in the body. Imagine you are walking on a cold floor in winter. Your feet feel very cold. You feel cold all over, freezing cold. Awareness of coldness. Awareness of coldness.
Awaken the sensation of heat. Awaken the experience of heat. The whole body is hot. The whole body is hot. You feel hot all over. Recollect the feeling of heat in the summer when you're out in the sun with no shade. Heat all over the body. Heat all around the body. Awareness of heat. The experience of pain. Concentrate and try to remember the experience of pain. Any pain you have experienced in your life, mental or physical. Recollect the feeling of pain. Allow it and feel it. A real feeling of pain. Recollect the feeling of pleasure, any kind of pleasure, physical or mental. Recollect this feeling and relive it, make it vivid. Awaken the feeling of pleasure and feel it for real. Check that you are awake, are you drowsy or sleepy? And say to yourself, I am awake, I am practicing Yoga Nidra. Withdraw your mind and concentrate on the space in front of your closed eyes. Imagine before you a transparent screen through which you can see infinite space. A space that extends as far as the eyes can see. Concentrate on this dark space and become aware of any phenomena that manifests within it. Whatever you see is the manifesting state of your mind. Continue your awareness of this space, but do not become involved. Practice detached awareness only. So now with your inner vision and feeling, bring to mind the following imagery. Imagine yourself walking along a deserted road on a hot day. Beside the road is a high wall and in the wall a small door you go through that door and discover inside a garden. Birds singing, beautiful flowers, cool shady trees. You explore the garden and come to a well with butterflies dancing around the top. Look inside the well. It is very deep. A cylindrical tunnel boring into utter darkness. A spiral stairway twists around the walls. 
you start walking down. In the walls are polished stones, yellow and white marbles, emerald green serpentines. Look up and see the circle of light at the top of the well. From holes in the walls, you hear the sounds of small animals, squeaks and rustling sounds. Now you are completely surrounded by darkness. And you feel your way along the walls. Large green eyes gaze at you and blink shut. There is the beating of wings and the hoot of an owl. You pass through a cloud of luminous insects, completely transparent. You are surrounded by these, but none ever touches you. The walls are damp and mossy. There is a dim light below. You reach the bottom and run through a tunnel and come out on a golden beach. A golden beach on the shore of an infinite ocean of peace and bliss. On the water, a large white lotus flower is rocked gently by the waves. On the flower there is a baby lying, and that baby is you. Feel yourself as that baby, rocking gently on the waters of the infinite ocean. Continue this experience of yourself as a baby, rocking gently on the water, and experience the sound of Om over the infinite ocean. Hear the vibration of Om. Bring your awareness back to the dark space you see in front of your closed eyes. Watch the darkness that you see before you very carefully with detachment. Do not become involved. Rest your mind in this warm and friendly darkness. If any subtle phenomena manifests, for example, colors or patterns or symbols or images, simply take note of these and continue with your awareness. If thoughts occur, let them come and go. But continue watching the dark space. Continue this with detached awareness. Now in this warm and friendly darkness, it's expansive space, inner space. Remember your resolve, your Sankalpa, that you made at the beginning of the practice. Repeat the same Sankalpa you made at the beginning in the same words and with the same attitude. Repeat your resolve now 
three times clearly with feeling and emphasis. Panamidam Panamidam Panat Panam Udashate Panasya Panam Vivaya Anamiva Vasashate Become aware of your breathing. Become aware of your natural breathing, awareness of breath, and awareness of relaxation. Develop awareness of your physical body, your physical existence. Become aware of your arms and legs and your body lying stretched out on the floor. Become aware of the meeting points between your body and the floor. And start to develop your awareness of the room around you, the walls, ceiling, and the noises inside the room and the noises outside the room. Allow your mind to slowly come out, take your mind out and become completely external. Just lie quietly for a few moments with your eyes closed. And start moving your body and stretching yourself. Take your time without hurry. Maybe give yourself a stretch, hug your knees, do whatever feels good for your body, roll onto your side, rest on your side. And when you're sure that you're awake again fully, slowly come up to seated and open your eyes. The practice of yoga nidra is now complete. Hari Om Tat Sat. <laughs>